Hello, my name is Orbis and welcome to my CD collection video. Uh, today I randomly thought, hey, it's been a while since I've uploaded. Uh, what's something I can do right now? And I realised I haven't done a CD collection video. Um, I, I really like CD collection videos. I have a kind of obsession with collection videos, so would be cool to do one of my own. I have a, I have a decent collection, not massive, but, but yeah, I'm gonna go through them today. Um, I'm pretty inconsistent with my CD collection. I think in the last couple of years, I haven't really added to it too much. Uh, I've kind of been slowly building it over over the last few years. I'm considering doing a monthly music collection update, CDs, vinyl merch, whatever. And that would encourage me to start buying more. But I think I'm gonna fo start focusing on buying vinyl, collecting vinyl. I'm not really really as interested in CDs anymore. I think it would be fun to go through all of these. So let's just get started. I've, um, I've got them all in alphabetical order, more or less. We're starting with Arctic Monkeys. Whatever people say I am, that's why I'm not. Uh, it's their first album, and also their best in my opinion. I don't like to put these now. Uh, and I've also got I've got, their mo I've got the I've got their first album, and I've also got their most recent album, The Car, which is unopened. Uh, it's a good album, but I think. Arctic Monkeys kind of peaked with their first two albums and haven't really been able to, um, I don't know. I don't think they've been able to match the, the um, quality of the first two albums, but I like that they kind of change up their style with every album, which is cool. And uh, yeah, it's a good album. Um, so next we have The Beatles. I don't have every Beatles album, I have a few of them. Um, this is, yeah. So, first of all, Revolver, which is an amazing album, obviously. Sergeant Pepper. And this is the remix version, the 50th anniversary version, which is cool. I like, I think the remixes are um, the new best way to listen to the Beatles albums, and I hope they, they do remixes of all of them, or at least um, they've done Revolver onwards, so at the very least I want a Rubber Soul one as well. Uh, I've also got Magical Mystery Tour, which I just realised I don't think this has a, I don't think this has been remixed either, but that would be cool. It's got some of the best songs on it. And I have the White Album. The White Album, which, and this this is also the 50th anniversary remix. It also includes the Escher demos, which are really cool. Um, and of course I've got Abbey Road. Jeff. Oh. See, the annoying thing about these these types of cases is they, they get slanted slightly. Yeah, Abbey Road, I think it's my, my favorite of theirs. Now we have Bjork. Uh, I've only got Homogenic, which is my favourite, but I think it'd be cool to get a few more. Now, I have one Black Keys album. Um, I think it's the second most recent one, which is this album they did of, of covers. I wanted to get it because I was like, oh, Black Keys kind of going back to their roots. Because I, 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 with the Black Keys, I. Their, their early work is my favourite, so I thought this would be similar to that. It's not really, to be honest. It's it's kind of meh. This is the only Black Keys album I have, even though I really like some of the other, other albums. Next up, uh, Black Midi. Black Midi's second album. Black Midi are an awesome band. And I should probably get the other two albums. See, I like 
the idea of having every CD of certain of certain artists, but there aren't many where I actually have all of their CDs because I'm so random with what what I buy. Yeah, there are, there are a few I have the complete collection of, but there's somewhere I just have one random one and none of the others. For example, Black Keats, no Black Sabbath. I've got Master of Reality, which is an amazing album. It's probably the heaviest. Um, and it's a deluxe version, so it's got yeah, it's got a, a song that didn't make it onto the album and some studio outtakes. And that's the only Black, uh, Black Sabbath album that I have for some reason. Uh, I've got... Right. So the only, the only individual Blondie CD I have is uh, No Exit. Which is the first of, which is the first album they released after their reunion. It's an okay album. Why? And you may wonder why is this the only Blondie album I have? That's because I gave uh, my original my original Blondie CDs to my dad. And the reason I did that is because I got this, which is this big mega Blondie thing. Um, it's this big book. It has all of their albums. Well, not, not all of them. The original albums until they broke up. And it also includes a couple of bonuses. Home tapes. Recordings that Debbie, Harry and Christine made. And Out on the Streets, which is like just songs that weren't didn't make it on albums. Um, and then inside there's like details on every song. It's really cool. So but it would be strange if no exit was the only bond the CD I have. Still in the B's, so we've got Blur, I've got two Blur albums, I've got Self-Titled, and I've got 13. So this is when they went away from Britpop and went in a more alternative rock direction. This camera's really annoying me. Are you going to focus? If I get closer, over away. going on? Do you need glasses? Where are my glasses? There you are. Oh, hello. Okay. Um, yeah, so these were... This was after Blur was done. I've lost my train of thought. This is when Blur went away from Britpop and started doing more old rock stuff. And I like these a bit more. I like their Britpop, Britpop stuff. This is... This is cooler. I think... 13, I think, is my favourite of albums. It's extreme, it's very varied and uh, experimental and yeah, cool stuff. Next, I've got a uh, Charlie Patton collection. Um, I'm a big fan of old blues, you know, and uh, I think Charlie Patton was one of the best. And this is, yeah, this is just all of his recordings, I think. Free discs, so yeah. Okay. Next, I've got a uh, Chicken Shack collection. Um, Chicken Shack are a sixties blues band, which uh, part of the original lineup had Christine with me. Who left? I think she left Chicken Shack. I think she left Chicken Shack to join Fleetwood Mac. Um, they're a very standard 60s blues band, but 
some cool stuff on it. And I'm a huge Fleur Mac fan, so I like I like getting there. I like listening to uh, the members' other projects. Okay, next we have some jazz. Uh, the comet is coming, which are like a very modern jazz electronic band. Cool stuff. I think they released an album, a new album last year, which I should get as well. Maybe. <laughs> okay. So next I've got Cream, Disraeli Gears, and Wheels on Fire. And the reason that the case is like this is because I found the CD randomly. Um, I didn't know what it was. There was no description on it. I just put it in, and it was Cream. Disraeli Gears and Wheels of Fire, but Wheels of Fire without the live section. So, and I made my own case. Amazing artwork, right? I should I should design album artwork. Ah, yes. Uh, this is an album that came out last year, which is a collaboration between Danger Mouse and Black Fort. One of the best albums last year. Next I've got The Dead Weather, um, Sea of Cowards. Uh, this is one of Jack White's bands. It's a super group with Jack White of the White Stripes, Alison Mossart of the Kills, um, Dean Fatita from Queens of the Stone Age, and Jack Lawrence from The Green the Greenhorns. So The Dead Weather are pretty cool. They have a very unique sound, but I don't like them as much as The Raconteurs or any of them. It's probably my least favorite out of Jack White's bands, but some cool stuff. Um, they have three albums, but I only have one of them. Uh, next I've got some couple Denzel Curry albums. This is the one he did with Kenny Beats, uh, Unlocked. And I've also got this album from last year. I forget what it's called, Melt My Eyes, which is one of my favourites of last year. And now I've got these uh, Doctor Who CDs, Big Finish CDs. If you don't know Doctor Who, there's this company, there's this company called Big Finish which do audio drums and they do Doctor Who ones, which are very cool. Um, next I have this Embrace The Good The Good Will Out I've never listened to this I don't know why I have it So There you go Okay now Now's the Fleetwood Mac section And this is an example of how Inconsistent I am with my CD collection So so I've got this original album series, which is every album from Then Play On to Mystery To Me. Um, so this was kind of, well, Then Play On was the last of the Peter Green albums and the best one, in my opinion. And then the rest of these are like that, that weird period in their career when they were changing band members every, every album. Um, It's, I mean, they're interesting albums, and I think Bear Trees, Bear Trees and Future Games are pretty good. But the best of these is obviously is Then Play On, which, to be to be honest, might be my favourite Fleetwood Mac album. Full stop. So next, I've got Tusk, the follow-up to Rumours, which is uh, nowhere near successful. People, some people consider it a failed follow-up. Which I don't. I mean, it was, I guess, in terms of commercial success, but I still think it's a really good album. So yeah, I have Tusk, but I don't have Rumours. There's no reason why. I, I probably still like Rumours more than Tusk. And I also have this compilation album that came out a couple of, a few years ago, which is just cele celebrating the whole the whole Fleet Mac career. It covers all of the eras, so you've got 
you've got one Jeremy Spencer song. Um, are there any Danny Cohen songs? Yeah, there's a, there's a few Danny Cohen songs, Peter Greer songs. And there's about three Bob Webb songs. So it does cover their whole career, but obviously it's it's still majority stuff from this like the late seventies, the Buckingham Knicks, Knicks era. It's a cool compilation. I've also got a Frank Zappa album, Hot Rats. I am a I'm a big Frank Zappa fan. This is the only one I have, but I think it's I think it's his best one. It's, it's honestly probably in my top ten, maybe top five albums of all time. Uh, this is an album my dad got me a while ago by a band called Goldfrap. The album's called Black Cherry. Uh, and it's pretty cool. It's a pretty cool album. It's like synthy trip hop type stuff. It's cool stuff. Uh, sorry for all the cuts, by the way, in this video. But believe me, if there weren't any cuts, this would be a very unfun video to watch. Because I'm not good at talking on the spot. Next up, we've got Gorillaz. So, I've got Plastic Beach, which is uh, my favourite. I've got Humans. I think Humans has some really good songs on it. But overall, it's probably one of their weaker albums. Whoops. And I've got Song Machine, the deluxe version, which is definitely a return to form. I think it's their best album since Plastic Beach. And it's probably one of my favourites, full stop. So I don't have Demon Days, but that is also a great album. Next up, we've got the Jack White. The Jack Whites. So I've got Blunderbuss. Uh, Lazaretto. Boarding House Witch, which is my favourite. Fear of the Dawn, which is broken. And you may ask, but why is it broken? Because it came like this. And I don't have his most recent one, Entering Heaven Alive. But I, will, I, will, I will get that one. Next up is King Crimson, Court of the Crimson King, which is an amazing album, and um, yes. Uh, next I've got, I never know how to pronounce this, it's like Coraco, Coruk, whatever. They're a jazz band, this, was, this is their first album, it came out last year. And it's some good stuff. Ah, so next is Cooler Shaker, which were a 90s band. Which were, they were very um, Indian influenced. Uh, it's, it's a cool, very cool album. Cool, cool, cool. These, all these albums are cool. Okay, next up is the Led Zeppelin section. So I've got Led Zeppelin 1. And that's it. I love Led Zeppelin, but for some reason I only have Led Zeppelin 1. Um, I've got Mars Walters, most recent album, unopened. I haven't even listened to it, but I have it. I've listened to the Mars Walters' first couple of albums, which are really, which are really good. Um, next up, Megadeth. So I've got Rust in Peace, with a, a nice crack. I think this is my favourite. And I want to get Rust in Peace because it's also. I want to get Peace Cells because that one's also really good. I've got I've got the most recent album, The Sick, The Dying, and The Dead, which is alright. Next up, Metallica. So I've got. I've got Ride the, Ride the Lightning and 
Master of Puppets, which are both perfect albums, in my opinion. And I've also got My Coldfield, Tubular Bells. Uh, this album's probably my one of my top favourites of all time. Uh, uh, Armadorm is also really good. Next up, I've got Surrealistic Pillow by Jefferson Airplane, which is also in my top 10 favourite albums. And I've also got uh, After Bathing at Baxter's which is a lot more experimental, but it's also really good. And I've got Jeff Rotel at Quilung, which is another one that's probably in my top 10 favorite albums of all time. It's pretty amazing. A lot of flute, and I like flute. I've got Hendrix compilation album. Can't go wrong with Hendrix. Uh, I've got this Jimmy Reed blues collection. Don't really know who he is, but I like blues, so I like that. Uh, I've got Johnny Winter, who is an amazing blues guitarist. Ah, next up is the the King Gizzard collection. So. I think a couple of these my dad has at the moment, so I, these aren't all of them, but I've got non gun Infinity, and the reason this is unopened, and a couple of these are, are unopened, is because I literally got them today. But this is probably my favourite King Gizzard album. Um, Flying Microtonal Banana, the first of their Microtonal albums. Polygon Wonderland, Wonderland, Murder of the Universe, Fishing for Fishies, Infest the Rat's Nest, uh, KG, LW, Butterfly 3000. Um, and that's the most recent album that I, ha I have because the last. Four albums on, are not on CD, sadly. Um, but I've got a few live albums here. I've got Chunky Shrapnel, um, Live in Melbourne 2021, and uh, Live in Adelaide 19, 2019. So I, I definitely want to get every King Gizzard album, so I love King Gizzard. I just realised I don't think I went in the right order there, but it's okay. The, the, order, isn't, the order isn't really important. Right. Right, so I've got some in the <sighs> Next I've got Nirvana albums, got Bleach, Nevermind, In Utero. Um, I said that like there's going to be more, so I've got all of their, that's one of the few bands where I have all of their albums. Um, there's only three of them, so that's not hard. But I also want to get Incesticide and the MTV. Uh, concert. Next I've got uh, Ozzy Osbourne's latest solo album, Unopened, and haven't listened to it, but I have it. Next up is Paul McCartney, Flaming Pie, which is, I think, got released in the, in the 90s. It's a great album. And his most recent one, um, McCartney Free. Is a cool album. Um, I've got I've got one Pink Floyd album, which I got for Christmas. Umoguma. The best Pink Floyd album. 
and the best track on her is several species of small furry animals gathered together in a cave and groovy and wither picked. If you haven't heard that song, you definitely should. Um, next I've got Queens of the Stone Age, Songs for the Deaf. An amazing album, that's probably in my top favourites. Um, next up, this is another band, one of the few artists where I have the whole all of their albums. It's the Raconteurs, I've got Broken Boy Soldiers, Consolers of the Lonely, and Helpless Stranger, which is very cracked. Um, next I've got Tame Impala, Lonerism. Tame Impala are one of my favourite artists ever. Um, they've got four albums, but I've only got... I don't know why I'm saying they, there's only one of them. But yeah, I've got Lonerism, which is my favourite. But I will get the others one day. Next up is the Radiohead Collection. I think I've got... Almost all of them. Um, I've got. I own Hail to the Thief, but I think my dad has it. Has it, so it's not here. But I've got the Benz. Okay, computer. Kid A. Amnesiac. Um, in Rainbows. Uh, King of Limbs. A moon-shaped pool. And. Um, the nice out live performance. So I don't have Pablo Honey. I own Hail to the Thief, but it's not here. So almost a complete collection. Uh, Radiohead are one of my favourite bands, so I feel like I have to have all of them. Next up, I've got um, Red Hot Chili Peppers, Blood Sugar, Sex Magic, which is, I think, their best album. Um, but I've also got. Californication, which is an amazing album. And I've got um, Unlimited Love, which is an album that exists. And I've got REM, Atomic for the People, great album. Uh, I've got Robert Owen, A Spark. Now this is an album released by a friend of mine from primary school. I've got I've got one Rolling Stone album, Goat Head Soup. Uh, this is far from one from being their best album. I think I think it got like a re-release and I I, I bought it. Yeah, very, very. If you're gonna own, own only one Rolling Stone album, um, this isn't really. Yeah, I don't know why this is the only Rolling Stone album I have, but there you go. I mean, it's good, but they have better ones. And I've also got, I've got C six C stick, C six Steve, Doghouse Music. Um, C six Steve is. Cool artist. Sons of Kennet. Uh, Your Queen is a Reptile. It's a, a jazz, al jazz album. I think they released a new album pretty recently. Maybe. I don't know. Next up, we've got. The Weekend, I've got After Hours and Dawn FM, so these are his two most recent albums. I think they're his best albums ever. I think, I think he's reached a new height, and I look forward to what he releases next. I have uh, This is another band where I have all of their albums. The White Stripes, this is their self-titled self debut. Um, I never know how to pronounce this, dis distill, distill. White Blood Cells, Elephant, Gets Behind Me Satan, which the CD is coming out for some reason, because it's broken, um, Icky Fump, 
that's all their studio hands, but I also have the John Peel sessions and under great white northern lights. Um, not many left. I've got uh, the Yeah Yeahs, Yeah Yeah Yeahs new album, which is unopened. I got it because one of the singles, um, Burning, I thought was really cool. So I bought the album, but I haven't actually listened to it. Uh, I've also got Yes Fragile, which is my favourite of theirs. I also have another Yes album, which I left over there. Yes, I've got, I've got Close to the Edge, which is also an amazing album. And got a few random ones here. I've got Prog Behind the Lines, which is a CD from a Prog magazine. Why not? This is also from a magazine. The one time I bought a Mojo magazine. Um, this is another prog compilation, which introduced me to Atomic Rooster. So, and I've also got a Delta Blues collection. And my last one, I've got Classical Chill Out, which I got from a, a charity shop. Because why not? And those are all my CDs. Um, this video was a complete mess because I'm not good at talking on the spot. But I'm going to try and edit it into a coherent video. Um, thank you for watching and I'll see you soon.